at 5, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has awarded the City of Savannah a $30 million grant to address drainage issues around the Springfield Canal. WSAB's Tyler Carmona spent the day in Carver Village and the Cloverdale neighborhood as well to learn about how the flooding has impacted residents there. One of Savannah's historic and most storied neighborhoods is going to be receiving what some say is a much needed upgrade thanks to the Federal Justice 40 initiative. It feels good, man, because a long time, man, we thought ain't nobody really care about us. So when the government stated that they was giving us 30 million to fix the canal, that's showing that they care, you know, and they want to help. The Justice 40 initiative was introduced by the Biden administration in 2022. It aims to provide investments to secure environmental justice for disadvantaged communities. The Loach says the Springfield Canal's tendency to flood is a constant obstacle for the people of Carver Village. It flood the whole main street right here from from um, Styles and Gwinnett all the way down to Elliott Street sometimes. And we have to go around the magazine to get out. So it's kind of it's kind of hectic. Mayor Van Johnson commented on this development. He says we've done a lot over the years to address historic flooding around the canal. But with this federal assistance, we'll be able to initiate mitigation of flooding issues that will benefit these neighborhoods. Although most of the funding is coming from the federal government, the city of Savannah is also contributing $12 million. The project will be executed in phases, with the first phase being a surveying and analysis period that's expected to cost around $2 million. After this initial review, FEMA will release the remaining $27 million to begin construction work on the canal. While there's no concrete time frame for this development, it's expected to take around five years. Reporting in Savannah, Tyler Carmona, WSAV News 3, on your side.